Thanks for warning me, Toby. It's Violet Unboxing Day, Violet Unboxing Day. Okay, <laughs> I'm being a little bit silly, but I'm actually really excited about this shipment of violets. One, it's a Thursday. It seems like all of the violet shipments land on Thursday or Friday, probably because, and I've just discovered this, most of the violet vendors that are in operation usually ship on Mondays and Tuesdays. So mystery solved on that one. But I'm excited about this particular unboxing because this is from the Violet Barn. And I've heard a lot about the Violet Barn. I've never actually ordered from them up until now. So Violet Barn is from New York. And so I ordered, let's see, I've ordered six violets from this one. These are mainly are miniatures. I've got one micro miniature, which I've never had before. And I also have one standard. So got a lot of little guys in this shipment. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I love these stickers anything to kind of dress up the packaging here. And they also had a lot of great communication in between the time that I had ordered this. I think I had ordered this on the 1st. Today is the 14th. It's the day before Good Friday. And I had a lot of great communication in between the time I had ordered because remember, it's still April. Weather is still spotty. It's a windy and very warm day today, but I'm still appreciative that they still have the insulation because the weather's still spotty depending on where they're shipping from. It's not just from where your vendor's shipping to, but it's also where they're shipping from. So, but there's a lot of great communication in between the time that I ordered, some great instructions on what to expect. Also had some great instructions on how to prepare for your shipment and also so of course your shipping notifications and who to contact if you have any kind of problems with your violet so that's not the whole unboxing part but it's also part of the ordering part that i really really liked is the communication so well done violent barn all right so we're going to take off this insulation oh and we got we got some instructions here so i love this too so i have a so you have some instructions on grooming potting propagation what to, how to unpack, how to unwrap. Very well done, Violet Barn. Got tons of information here. So I am quickly becoming a veteran of how to unpack plants, but I really do appreciate all of the instructions here. So lots of information. All right, so we've got some of our violets here. I don't know if, I'm not sure if any of these will be in bloom yet. They don't all have to be in bloom. So most of these are probably, these little packages here are probably the miniatures. So I believe I got, I'm looking at the invoice here, I've got, actually I got two standards. So these here are probably the standards. So I've got one semi miniature, one micro miniature. Those are really small, I'm imagining. So one miniature, one semi miniature, one micro miniature, and two standards. Whew. So uh, let's start with the standards. And just very carefully these are staples, so just very carefully removing the staples. Let's see what this guy is. Looks like a young plant. So this one is King's Ransom. Oh, this is a beautiful, um, this one's a beautiful violet. So this one is a standard and it will have double light pink frilled stars and light plum fantasy blooms. And it's gonna have like white edges on the blooms. And as always, I'm gonna put a picture of what that bloom will look like once it finally happens. And this looks like a, this looks like a little one. This is, looks like a starter plant, which is great. Oh, and they made this very, very easy to unwrap. So got some more gold stars for Violet Barn. Very neatly packaged. Might need a little bit of moisture before King's Ransom goes into quarantine, which is just fine, but very nice. Nice plant, no broken leaves. Very good. Liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, so if that was King's Ransom, then the next one should be, it should be A.E. Charlene Fantasy, should be the next one. And I'm impressed so far because so far out of all the vendors that has had the most information on not only how to unwrap the plants, but also how to acclimatize, um, acclimatize the plant, also on how to take care of the plants, the very nice information sheet that they included in the shipment. So I'm really liking that. All right, so this is A.E. Charlene Fantasy. And they've also made this 
so easy using the rubber bands on this. And then also has this nice plastic. It's just basically looks like it's a, just unwrap this. So it basically looks like a square of plastic has a slit in it and they just kind of surround the top here to keep in the dirt. But it's also dead easy to remove. So I'm very impressed with the packaging as well. All right, so this one is a Russian hybrid and it also has the label on here. So you know exactly where, and actually it looks like it has the date of when this was put in. So yeah, so these are young plants. So this is a Russian hybrid here and the blooms are going to be like large white semi-double stars and it's going to have these orchard pink thumbprints on the blooms and also has a bit of purple in it so it's going to be really pretty when these grow up nice little starter plant okay and i'm loving the packaging so so far it's got gold stars and it's earning all the things that i've been hearing about the violet barn all right so this is slightly different because these are smaller plants these are I think I actually got two miniatures, one semi-miniature and one micro miniature. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what the micro miniature looks like because I've never, I have several miniatures and I also have a couple semi-miniatures. So I'm kind of interested in seeing how much smaller, <laughs> how much smaller can I get with my African violets? I got my big ones. I got my not so big ones, my little ones. And so I guess I'm going to have the super tiny ones as well. I'm going to move you back a little bit so that I don't, you guys aren't getting in the way. All right, set this up some. Okay, so this one must be the micro miniature. Just speaking of the little bit, little tiny devil. Look at that. Wow, look how tiny that is. Like the tiniest, tiniest leaves. Let's see. Yep, this is it. So this is Teeny Bopper. This is the micro miniature trailer that I ordered. So this, this is like the cutest plant ever. And I have a lot of cute plants upstairs, but this is so, so tiny. All right. Ultra easy to unpack this thing. And it also has some, it also has some flower buds here. These are gonna be some little dark purple bell shaped blooms. Wow, this is tiny. You see, I mean, it's not even as big as a thumbnail, these leaves. So tiny, tiny, tiny trailer. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. So this one is Teeny Bopper, tiny plant. And I got I got a little, one of the things I started collecting are little lanterns. So I think this would look really cute in a little lantern. So with, with its own light source. So can't wait to start playing around with this guy. Teeny Bopper. So next one, I don't know what the next one is. Very careful. Tomorrow is Good Friday. I actually have another order, if you can believe it. I'm, I mean, I'm, I know my poor postal worker is probably wondering what the heck am I ordering because I have something every other day. You know, I'm, I'm actually just ordered some new stands because I have totally run out of room upstairs with all of my light stands and with all of my propagations and all my new plants and everything. And now some of the, my propagations are yielding up some small baby plants. So not only will I have new plants, but I'm also having new baby plants from when I'm propagating. So I swear I'm gonna have hundreds of violets by the, by the time the year is out. But that's just fine with me. I'm just gonna need some bigger light stands, but that's what Amazon's for. I'm loving the rubber bands. Just really clean way to wrap this up. And then I'll also have rubber bands to, to add to my rubber band stash. Oh, just lost a leaf. Gosh, you know what I'm gonna do with that. Yep, I don't even have to say it. All right, this one is Rob's Boondoggle from the Rob series. I have a couple of these all in propagation, not this particular one, but from the same hybridizer. And let's see, Rob's Boondoggle, this is a semi-miniature, has the nice wavy leaves, and it's gonna have the large white semi-double star blooms, and they're gonna have like orchard pink thumbprints around. So you know what thumbprint blooms look like. You have the blossom, and then you have like those little spots of color on the outside edge. And then you're also gonna have some purple fantasies. I'm really getting into the fantasy markings on the blooms, they're, they just look so pretty. All right, so Rob's Boondoggle, semi-miniature. I don't believe this is a trailer. So yeah, so this is just a semi-miniature plant. Oh, maybe I can stick it alongside Teeny Bopper here. <laughs> Okay, moving right along. Got six plants here. We've got four down, got two more to go. So 
so far these look like starter plants. So, and you even have, like I said, you even have the start date on here. So just in case you want to know exactly how old this particular plant is, they put the start date on it. So Violet Farm just includes tons of information about your violet in with the packaging. So I'm really liking that. I just love having all of the information here. Oh, now this one has blooms. We always have to have one that has blooms. All oh, awesome. Okay, so let me see if I can guess by the blooms which one this is. I got I got a couple of Rob a series flowers, so Rob series violet. So this may be Rob's Chili Willy. Let me see if I'm right. Okay, and this one. Let's see if the lab. No, I was wrong. This is Rob's Loose Noodle. All right, this one is a miniature. Look at these beautiful we and look at these beautiful blossoms. So pretty. Just lovely plant. This one was started in November. Very, very pretty flowers. So yeah, this one is not a trailer. So this is just a little miniature. This is not semi-miniature, this is a miniature. So I'm gonna put this over here with my miniature my growing miniature collection. Aren't those adorable? Alright, so one last one. If that one was Rob's loose noodles, and then this next one is definitely gonna be Rob's. Chili Willy. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the Violet Barn is run by the hybridizer who hybridizes these guys. I may be speaking out of turn, but I believe that they're the guys that do this. Oh, you know, you guys know I love a variegated violet. So look how gorgeous that is. Now this one is Rob's Chili Willy. Has variegated white and yellow green foliage here. And I believe that the blooms are going to be double white fluted stars with the with blue overlay and some edge, some edge bloom. So it doesn't look anything like this guy, but another miniature. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love the variegation. I love variegated violets because again, they're still gorgeous even without blooms. Look at that. So, so pretty. Oh, and we've got a blossom that's coming in. Let's see if you can see that. Yep. Right there, got a blossom that's coming in. Got several. Got another one right there. Don't know if you can see it right there. See if there's any more. And one that's maybe trying to get in like right there. So doesn't have any blooms yet, but it looks like it's giving it a shot. But it's still pretty in you even without the bloom. So I've got my growing miniature collection. So I've got my and I've got, <laughs> and I've also got my growing Rob series collection by this hybridizer. So we got Rob's Chili Willy. Rob's Loose Noodle, Rob's Boondoggle, semi-miniature, mini two miniatures. We've got like the tiniest micro miniature in the world, the teeny bopper. Gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. That is if I don't, you know, with my big fat hand, I don't <laughs> crush the poor thing. All right, and then King's Ransom, and then also another, another Ukrainian-Russian hybrid. I've really started getting into those as well. All right, so Violet Barn, I'm looking forward to ordering from them again. If you're a beginner, you've never ordered online before, well, I'd say give Violet Barn a, a try because they have some nice selections, but they also provide a lot of information from the very beginning of your order to the very end with the emails, with the, with the information on the website, and then also with the information sheet they included in with the shipment. So I am very, very pleased. I cannot wait to order from them again. Actually, I probably won't wait <laughs> to order from them again because, you know, that's just how it goes. So, all right, thanks for watching.